Hey, it would have been better if I'd tested that before we started, but here we are live, not recorded. Uh, no, yep. For another installment of seven minutes in the morning today, the question for you today, are you optimistic or full of faith? More about that right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. All right, hang on. Let me turn that off. Turn that off. Still set up from Friday. Hey, everybody, good morning and welcome to another bright overcast installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. My name's Tom Riggs, be your host. Back live again in the old home office, back from the road. Whew, it sure is good to be back with y'all. Thanks so much for joining me last week and engaging and participating. That was exciting to see all of that come through. Listen, when you get here, yes, absolutely, today will be a very good day. And Catherine, hold that thought, because that's where we're going today. <clears throat> when you get here, do as Joe and Catherine have done. Leave a comment. Say hi, hello, good morning, how you doing? Whether you're watching live or on the replay, I don't care. I will track you down and ask you why you didn't if you don't. So there, just go ahead, do it, and get out of the way, and be done with it. All right, so I had a completely different topic planned about 10 minutes ago. <clears throat> And, uh, and then this quote came through. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. That's by Helen Keller, and I disagree with it. Here's why. Optimism, optimism gives you room for it to not work. I can be optimistic about an outcome and not know that the outcome is going to occur. I can be optimistic and not know. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Faith, on the other hand, <clears throat> man, faith, on the other hand, is knowing that the outcome is going to occur as, as solidly as you know something that happened to you yesterday. I started to say what you had for breakfast, but sometimes I don't even remember that. Faith is knowing that what's going to happen is going to happen. I know it. I know it's going to happen. I'm going to take this pencil or marker and jab it in my eye and, and it's going to hurt. I have faith in that, right? Just as solidly as something that's already happened. Optimism, well, I can be optimistic. I've got an optimistic outlook for next year. What does that mean? Great. You should be optimistic every year, every month, every quarter, every day, right? To Catherine's point, it's going to be a very good day. If you tell yourself it's going to be a very good day, then guess what? The odds of it being a very good day increase exponentially. If you tell yourself it's going to be a crappy day, guess what? Yep, same rule applies. All right, so what does all this mean? What does it mean to us business owners, leaders, leaders, change agents? Ooh, I like that one too. What does it mean? Well, it means um, that as we are, I mean, what are we, halfway? We're halfway today, halfway through the month. It means we've only got less than half of December left to be ready for January as you're making your plans for next year. Are you optimistic or do you have faith? Don't make plans that you can be optimistic about. Make plans that you know are going to come true. Just like you know today, just like Catherine knows, today's going to be a good day. Look, here in, in, in all this, there's science behind all this. So before you start poo-pooing it, I'll give you the quick rundown. It's the reticular activating part of your brain. We talked about this a lot. You go buy this lime green car because nobody else in town has one. And as you're pulling off the lot, three of them pass you on the university drive. Why? They were there already, weren't they? Now we can get into some real metaphysical stuff. But yes, they were there already. You just didn't see them. Your brain filtered it out because it wasn't important. Now that you have that car, it's important to you. So your brain says, whoa, wait a minute. 
there and there and there. Those things are important to you, brain. And now you start seeing them. It's the same principle, the same rules, the same part of your brain's at work here. If you say you're going to have a good day, then you start making decisions that lead you to have a good day. And guess what? You have a good day. I, it's really not that complicated. What you tell yourself you're going to have is what you're going to have, good or bad. Either way, God, going to the doctor is going to take forever. It's going to tell me this, going to tell me that. Then you go in to see the doctor, your blood pressure's all jacked up. I mean, It's, it's, it's crazy. We, but we voluntarily do this stuff to ourselves. Optimism is the belief and without belief, there is no faith. Now, so I disagree with that. So optimism is the, is the begging, begging or beginning. You have to believe it's possible to begin to move into your possibilities. Going to be a very productive day, says Joe. Yes, I agree with that. Here's the problem with, or here, here's why I disagree, Catherine. It's the same reason why I disagree with the SMART acronym, specific, measurable, blah, 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 it's for, for SMART goals, right? But generally, I agree with it. The one that I disagree with is the A, right? Or maybe R. I think it's R. I'd say I've stopped using it, so I, I forget what they all are. R um, usually if you look it up, R is realistic. Well, if we'd set realistic goals, we never would have made it to the moon, right? Did they know how? No, they, 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 they didn't, were they optimistic that they could find an answer? Eh, yes, but optimism, the guys that were optimistic didn't get to work on the team. It was the guys that knew they would find the answer. that got to work on the team. I mean, that's the difference to me, right? I can be optimistic that next year is going to be a great year, or I can know that next year is going to be a great year. I can be optimistic that today will be okay, but, you know, if something happens, then it won't be a great day. Or I can just know, no matter what happens today, it's going to be a great day. In my mind, that's the difference between optimism and, and what do you call it? And belief, optimism and belief. Faith, knowing, I know today is going to be a good day for me, and I know it's going to be a good day for you, and today's going to be a productive day too. Say it out loud three times in the mirror. Three times, not four. You can say it three or six, but you can't say it four or five. Today is going to be a productive day, maybe even the most productive day of the year. In fact, it is going to be the most productive day of the year. I just decided. You guys have a fantastic Monday. I'll be back live again tomorrow. Will I be live? Yeah, I'll be live tomorrow. Big dreams need to be a little impossible and a little scary. Well, of course they do. That's the big, hairy, audacious goal. It needs it needs to push you beyond where you already know you can go. And and this is you know, it's just like um, my nephew wants removed that jumps out of airplanes. He knows. He knows it's going to be okay. No matter what happens, it's going to be okay. It is, he's not optimistic that it's going to be okay. He knows. No matter what happens, I know what to do. I can deal with it. And if I can't and I'll go in, I'll never know. It's going to be okay. Today, it's going to be okay. You guys have a great Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow. Hey, Somebody in your network needs to hear this message today. They're only optimistic and they need to know. They need to believe. Click on that share button. Send this video to them or audio, depending on how you're watching or listening. Share it with them so they can have the best day ever also. Talk to you again tomorrow. Um, I already said it twice. I'm not going to say it again. Take care.